Matt Man's back with another nickel hunt. This is hunt number three, box number four. I finally got some Jefferson nickel books to populate, but I'm not going to start populating them until I do ten boxes. So let's put these aside. I'm going to... I'm going to open this box, make sure we have bank wrap rolls. If they're not bank wrap rolls, you won't see this. Yep, we got bank wrap circulated rolls. So I'm going to get prepared and start the hunt. This box looks like it had a little trauma to it. Still together though. What I'm going to be looking for are Shield Nichols, Buffalo Nichols, early Jefferson Nichols, um, Henny Nichols, Proofs, Ayers. I look for a lot of Ayers. Uh, so I'll get started and just the first roll of the box. Off to a good start. Found myself a 1946 Philly. That's in about fine condition. It's the ninth roll. You can't really tell that, but take my word for it. Took that long to come up with another 40s. And this is a 1940 Philly. Not too bad a shape. Probably a VF on that. And I had 150s, 1958 Denver, I call that a fine. In the very next roll, 1948 Philly, in not very good condition. I rearranged the rolls to have an accurate count so there's 35 rolls left and I found another 1940 Philly this is that same roll 45 and there's a 42 that has no silver look to it I don't think I haven't flipped it yet you know maybe nah yeah just a 42 Philly just cracked open roll 21. Immediately found this 1939. I already seen it. There's no mint mark. Decent shape. All the pillars are there. And I also found earlier a 1952 Denver. I'm on roll 38 and a couple finds. These popped up one right after the other. Got a 1946 Philly, a 1941 Denver, Fumble. And earlier I found of 1957 Denver. Many rolls later, this is roll 41, finally came up with a 40s. We have a 1948 Denver. And a couple of 50s since the last one. 58 Denver and a 54 Philly. And there at the end of the roll is a 42. I haven't seen the back of it yet. We're hoping for, I don't think it's a silver nickel, but I'm hoping for the 42 Denver. Nope, 42 Philly. There are four rolls left. 
Found another 1946 Denver. Pretty chewed up. Found a 1953 Philly. It's not the Henning nickel. Found a fairly nice 1959 Denver. And I found even a better 1959 Denver. The obverse on this one is striking. Reverse, weekly stamped. Nice coin though. So on those last four rolls, found two more in the 50s. I have this 1958 Denver, fairly good shape, and a 1955 Denver. So let me uh, put all the finds in order. These are all, everything I need to search for heirs. Those are the bright and shinies we put away for the book. I'll put all this neat and come on back. Well, that was quite the cleanup, but well worth it. That's the, the quick and dirty of it right there. But what I'm going to do is start with this 1960 D DDO. Now, if you look at the bottom right of the six you'll see a little blister there and when I compare it to variety Vista I think you'll see if you see my mouse here that right there is that right there there are no markers for this so that's as close as it gets, but it's certainly a stage of this air. So this is the DDO 001. So now we come to how I sort these out. That right there are all the 2023s. I set those aside for next year when I know what all the airs look like. I'll go all through them at one time. Now I come to these more modern ones I set aside. There's just one for each mintage, the best I could find in the hunt for the 60s, the 70s, 80s, a couple in the 90s, and then I'll put those in those tubes right there, and they're my candidates to go in those books, which I will not populate until I've hunted 10 boxes, and we've done four so far. Then I come to the, the Westward Journey set. I do one every time I do a hunt, and then I put it in a tube. And uh, I got one 09, just four 09s in four boxes. And then we come to the 40s and 50s. I got 139, 240s, 41 Denver, 242 Phillies. Two 46 Phillies and a 46 Denver and a 48, 48 Denver. 50s, a 52, 53, 54, a 55 D, a 57 D, three 58 Ds, and two 59 Ds. One of these 59 Ds is just a stunner here. Now, the front, I don't know if you can tell, but it's all there back that center of Monticello there is weakly struck but nice coin that's a candidate for the book for sure but maybe I can do better everything is now finished I got a really good start on the 40s and 50s here uh, 60s, 70s, 80s uh, candidates to fill those books. Six more boxes to go. 
I think the find of the hunt is this 1960 DDO. Um, if you have any comments, let me know. Until the next time, Matt Man's out. If you're getting any value at all out of this, please subscribe. Hit that like button. Share it with your friends. And hit that notification bell. Thank you very much.